we love uh, New York because it certainly offers a lot to see, but it's very hard to see it all, right? That's why we like to showcase your neighborhoods and let people know what they really have to offer. Crystal Young continues our series today by visiting Throgs Neck in the Bronx. Watch this now. The community of Throgs Neck is named after British settler John Throg Morton, who came to the area in the late 1600s. The neighborhood remained largely isolated until the Throgs Neck Bridge was built in the 1950s. Take a look at this photo that shows construction workers waving to the first cars to cross the bridge in 1961. Part of Throgs Neck have amazing views, which you can catch along Pennefield Avenue. It's the land of used cars. Cars, so you don't have to keep up with the Joneses here. That's good. Along Pennefield Avenue, you'll find quaint places to grab a bite like Patty's on the Bay, which is known for its outdoor seating and amazing seafood chowder. That's where I met this group of friends who have known each other since they were 11 years old. We're all Bronx boys and uh, we, grew, we all grew up in the Bronx and we all went to school together, elementary school together. We okay. all grew up. Wow. And, uh, that's the Bronx is the place, yes. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, Throg's Neck is what? To me? Yeah. 12. Quiet, tree-lined streets are a hallmark of this neighborhood. And although Throg's Neck is known for its largely Irish and German population, realtor Kathy Tanti says things are starting to get more diverse. A lot of different restaurants now. Before it used to be mainly uh, Italian restaurants, but now we have Greek restaurants and Spanish restaurants. It's really, really developing into a nice area. The main street is East Tremont Avenue. That's where you'll find discount stores, eateries, and all your goods and services. Throgs Neck is a residential quiet community with a view that feels way more like Florida than the Southeast Bronx. Well, Ernie, there's something else that's cool about the Throgs Neck section of the Bronx. Right behind me, just a few paces, is SUNY Maritime College, which is very interesting. And of course, the majestic Throgs Neck Bridge. Yeah, you know, speaking of that, let me ask you something. Uh, when you uh -huh. see Throgs Neck, right, it's spelled with two G's, Throgs, but the bridge is spelled with one G. Why is that? Well, you can thank the former city planner, Robert Moses, who was not known to be too warm and fuzzy. He decided that even though it was named after a man named Throg Morton ah. with two G's, that he wanted the name to fit on traffic signs. Mm -hmm. So he said, 300 years of history, <laughs> does it matter? He lopped off a G, but purists still say Throg's Neck is yeah. T-H-R-O-G-G-S. Two G's, exactly. How I'm going to come Two over. Two G's, to... we're sticking with that. I like that. Patty's on the bay. I'm going to come over there and sit with you. You spell crystal with two G's or one? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're too funny. I'll tell them to save some seafood chowder for you. Do that. What a great place. We, it's a real jewel, and we've got it. Thank you so much.